NECA, the ultimate Terminator 2 Judgment Day T-800. Look at that motherfucker right there. He's When he said I'll be back, he wasn't playing because he showed up at my fucking doorstep and my whole mind has exploded. So let's talk about the Terminator T-800. Now this is uh, obviously released by NECA. I just got it today. I, uh, believe it or not, I got it a couple days early. Um, pretty exciting. Now it says, 3 billion human lives ended on August 29th, 1997. The few who had survived the nuclear fire judgment day lived only to face a new nightmare, the war against the machines. In the effort to eliminate all the remaining humans, Skynet sent two Terminators back through time. The mission to destroy John motherfucking Connor, the future leader of the human resistance. The first was programmed to strike at his mother, Sarah Connor, in the year 1984, before John was born. It failed. The second was to eliminate John when he was just a child. As before, the Resistance was able to send a lone warrior to protect the boy. The only question was which one would reach him first. Boom! You know what I'm saying? Bam! Alright, so that's what the fuck is going on right here. Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Now, let's just talk about the packaging right here. This is a dope-ass picture. Now, I have the, uh, the Ultimate Freddy that was released last year. Um, I did a little custom, custom blood on him, a little on his neck, because, you know, Freddy Krueger's a nasty son of a bitch, and I also, uh, cut off his fingers, because, you know, maybe the shocker, anyways, other than that, this is Freddy, great articulation, awesome character, real light, not even a pound, you know, obviously, so, this is my second ultimate, um, figure in the neck line that I got, so let's open this bad boy up. Now the packaging out of t I mean this is a 10 out of 10. This is an amazing shot. He's got the mini gun. He's ready to blast some motherfuckers straight to hell. So here he is himself. Now let me let me let me just tell you guys. Look at that fucking glare. Let me say something real quick. Now when you look, when you see him in like the pictures, uh, his face didn't do him justice. That that looks like fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now I don't know about them purple lips. You know maybe he's wearing a lipstick. He could be a cross dresser. It could be Halloween. Um, uh, everyone was saying they didn't like the sculpt on his head. I I really enjoy it. I think it looks a hundred times better in person. So before you really judge a figure, you know, judge a a character by its cover. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, you should really get a first hands look at him. Now here he is. Uh, I haven't opened him up. I'm really liking this sculpt of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's face. It's just dope. And then you have the battle damaged version right here. So I am going to open him up. Uh, open him up, guys. Look at me stuttering. I'm so excited. I'm like a fucking little kid on Christmas. I'm going to open him up, guys, and let's take a look. Now, I don't know who who did the packaging, but this is tighter than a yeah, fucking middle version over here. I just, I can't get this thing out. I'm getting frustrated. Shit. Alright guys, so whenever you slide something out, you want to do it nice, smooth, and slow, because you don't want to just blow it up from the get-go. You don't want to... Uh, here comes the shot. Ah. Ah. Ready? Slide it out. Oh, Hold on, how do you do it? Huh. Uh, um, hold on a second. Oh, oh, for, there we go. Dropping, uh, dropping loads of action figures. Here he is, guys. Arnold Schwarzenegger. How about that? How sweet is this, guys? He comes with the grenade launcher, the uh, the shotgun, the the pistol, and of course the mini gun. That's gonna be freaking sweet. Now uh, I ain't got time for this. I'm just gonna get them all taken apart, and then you know what? Let's jump to the future. All right, guys. So two hours later, I finally figured out how to get the chain gun or the mini gun into Arnold's hands. What? It's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, you know, this was my first time. Look at me already. You know, this is the holy shit. He's drunk. Alright, Arnold's fucking drunk. He's had enough. He fucking said I'm done. That's how I feel right now. So, let's just talk about Arnold. I gave him the new head sculpt. He looks badass. Um, I mean, it looks pretty freaking sweet. I'm kind of having a hard time keeping his, uh, you know, his ammo bag. I mean, I guess it is heavy, you know. He's probably tired from the long journey. This is probably his best look. His most memorable... I mean, they obviously, you know, the front of the box is him holding the, uh, the chain or minigun, whatever you want to call it. So this is probably my favorite look of his, and, uh, once again, it looks like he's just wearing a purse. It's probably filled with tampons and bullshit, because that's what this is doing. You know, and they really make it look nice with the, uh, they really make it look nice with the ammo. Actually, damn glare. You see that right there? 
I, I don't know, maybe I just need more time with this son of a bitch, but, like, my patience is running low. I mean, imagine Arnold walking, and he fucking, he trips over the ammo, he just falls on his ass, you know, he's drunk. That's pretty much what would happen. So, you know, let me, let me just, let me set this down, and maybe give you his, his little 1980s, not early 90s, okay, you know what, let's not. Um, so I'm just gonna, you guys are just gonna stare at a box while I talk. You know, his hands you think would be a little kind of a soft rubber I'm having a uh, you know he's like help me oh god oh you know his hands are like a soft rubber you would think they'd be a soft rubber they're not it's like a hard plastic and and what you know my biggest my biggest cripe or crepe like a pancake my biggest uh, problem with it look at oh god oh, is it's just the fact that I can't get his weapons to fit into his hand you know what there we go so we're gonna, this is his, his shotgun. Classic. I mean, how many times did he blast that guy? Uh, you know what? So yeah, guys, at this moment, I, I'm trying to fit his shotgun in his hand in his pistol. Because I think that's a really, you know, this is bullshit. I think that's a really cool look. Um, I'm just having so much trouble with this character. I never had such a stiffy before. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And, uh... So yeah, I mean, I'm eventually I'm gonna figure it out, and then it's gonna look cool. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna stop again. Fuck yeah, guys! So three hours later, I finally got the shotgun and pistol in his hand. How dope does he look? So let's get him set up in his bullshit box. That's what we're gonna call it because, you know, I'm just gonna set it back down. Surprise, motherfucker! All right, so this is Arnold Schwarzenegger's surprise motherfucker look. This is him after a long day of bullshit, getting shot up. You know, just bullets galore. He's had enough. He's ready to kick ass and kick more ass and go have a couple. No. That's what I think of that. Of course, he tipped over and his fucking hand fell out. <laughs> and last but not least, guys, we have his grenade launcher, which I'm really disappointed in. It's a rubber piece of shit. But other than that, guys, this is a friggin' sweet action figure. Definitely pick him up. This is a T-800 Ultimate Terminator 2 Judgment Day figure by NECA. Out of 10, I'm gonna give it a 9. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, you know what? Maybe after I break him in, if you know what I mean. If I after I break him in, well, I'll have a better, um, you know, time trying to get in his, you know, accessories. His head sculpts are great. His heads pop off and on easily, very smooth. Um, his ammo bag, you know, he's got the the shells on him. This the only so here's you know what? Shut up. Shut the fuck up. I'm talking. Here's what we're gonna do, guys. This is how we're gonna sum it up. There's only three cons. The first con is obviously the uh, the weapons, the accessories, trying to put the weapons in them is kind of a pain in the ass. That might get broken in. The second would be the actual grenade launcher. It's really dinky looking and it's like a rubber piece of shit. Hard plastic I think would have been better. And third is the chain gun, the mini gun, which kind of upsets me. Now, it's, it's sweet, it's a little warped from the packaging, there's nothing you can do about that, but it just, it doesn't look as good as he did in the pitches. Obviously we have professionals, these are people's jobs who do this, but when I have the minigun in him, it looks like he's gonna trip over it like he's a fucking doofus, and that last thing, you know, Schwarzenegger Terminator is, is a fucking doofus. So, you know, it's like a purse now, it's a merce, alright, he's gonna go to the club, he's gonna be like, hey guys, what's up, you know, it's like that. So, this is the NECA T-800 figure, guys. I definitely recommend to pick it up. Look out for the ultimate leather, uh, leather face figure. Say that five times, you asshole. And I hope you enjoyed my review, guys. This is my first one. Bang, 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 bang. You know?